Coco, you go, Glen Coco. Oh, let me catch this light real quick. Oh. I've always wondered what golden hour was. Now I know. It's when the sun makes you look golden, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've made a video. Um, we've been busy, we had a road trip for eight days, so I was gone, I didn't bring my camera. I'm definitely bringing it next time. Um, I didn't realize how much free time I would have on the road, so I'm definitely gonna bring it next time, share the, that experience with you guys. But um, this is my first video. This is my, my setup for right now. It's nothing special, I'm in my living room. Um, the sliding has got to go. Um, it's right in my face. Um, so today, we're gonna do a 25 facts about me type video um, with some questions that uh, people sent in to me and you know, a couple things that I just wanna share with you guys on my own. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right, let's get started. My full name. My full name is Alexis Kai Brown, and it is, I'm not named after anybody. Um, I never go by Alexis. There's like three people that enjoy, enjoy calling me that. I hate it. I don't know if I'll ever go by Alexis ever. Um, maybe when I'm older, but I don't know. I just like Lexi way better. Um, how tall am I? I am five foot nine. Sometimes I like to say I'm 5'10". Um, I'm pretty tall for a female, kind of short for a basketball player. Um, but a lot of people, when they see me in person, they tell me that I'm taller than they thought I was, so that's always nice. Um, but I really wish I was like 6'1"-ish, but I'm not, but that's okay. I'm happy with my Um, I have three younger siblings, Alyssa, Anakin and Lonnie. Um, I don't know why I flipped their order like that. I never do that. Anakin's the baby. Um, I love them so much. They're um, my whole heart and soul and um, they're awesome. Maybe I'll be able to have them on um, a vlog again one of these days. My favorite food. <laughs> I love everything. Except for seafood, do not bring me seafood. I hate it. Like, it, when I eat it, I feel like I'm eating sand and drowning in the ocean and there's water in my mouth. I hate seafood. Um, all types of food I love. Um, you already know my favorite food on earth is Chick-fil-A. If I could eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be Chick-fil-A. But actually, right now, today, today, I just started a meal plan. Um, I'm trying to, you know, tone up a little bit, maybe gain a little bit of weight, but positive weight, like lean mass, not fat. Like, look, right now, I'm eating a rice cake with peanut butter, like, and I'm about to cook, and I hate cooking, and, you know, I baked potato in the oven, and, and I'm just kind of winging it. You know, I don't cook, y'all. Like, I, I'm just not a cooker, um, but I'm going to have to be if I want to be healthy, so... Yeah, you know, key to my heart, food. Just just keep that in mind. Um, uh, what else? Uh, my best friends. So I have a bunch of best friends. I have my sister, of course, Alyssa. Um, Kendall. Kylie. Darius. Michaela. Jada. Um, Haley. Sophia. Basically my entire basketball team at school um, are my sisters, my best friends. But... I'm so blessed to have them all. Um, if anybody knows me, I'm a super nice person. Like, some people think I'm not a nice person or like I'm, I look me, but you know, that's that RBF um, syndrome that I have. And I know a lot of you other girls have it as well. But when you get to know me, I'm pretty cool. I'm funny. I'm the funniest person I know. Um, my favorite movie, my favorite movie of all time is Mean Girls. And you already know, you go Glen Coco is my just life motto. Um, Bridesmaids is a close second. I love funny movies, um, especially with movies starring all women. Like, it's awesome. Um, but those are my two favorite movies. All right. When did I start playing basketball? 
I started playing basketball when I was about seven or eight. Um, you know, obviously with my parents both being basketball players, it was bound to find me some way, somehow. Um, I was never forced into playing it. Um, it kind of just happened. I did play a ton of sports. I tried tennis. I was a cheerleader, soccer. Um, I was a dancer. I did tap, ballet, jazz, hip hop. You already know I did some hip hop. Oh, I have a picture. <laughs> I posted on Instagram, but that picture is so embarrassing. Um, I don't know, hip hop, dance costumes when you're younger are awful. They're terrible and they're literally unwearable. Like you cannot wear them ever again after you perform in them. It's a waste of money. Y'all. It, it is not bad at all, honestly. Lightly salted rice cake and peanut butter. History, I'm sorry, I've not eaten all day. That's another thing. Rewinding back to the meal plan. I only eat, as much as I talk about food, I really only eat once a day sometimes. Because I'm so busy doing stuff. And then if I know I wanna eat something big, I'll like save it till the end of the day, which is so unhealthy, so don't do that. So I'm trying to work on it, so I'm forcing myself to snack throughout the day. This is one of them. Anyway, what is a typical workout day? Well, it depends on the day. So we have practice days, off days, and game days. So we'll start with practice days. So our practices are, our practice slot is like two to three hours. You get to the gym an hour before, I usually stay after. So it basically ends up being like five hours at the gym. So I'll get shots up before practice practice, usually get some shots up after. Um, and then depending on how my body feels, I'll uh, hop on the treadmill or the elliptical or Stairmaster for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and then on the days I have a lift, I'll lift. Off days, you know, those don't exist to me. Um, 20, 30 minutes of cardio always. And then usually off days I'll do a lift, um, something like that. Um, if I'm feeling really energetic, then I'll do a little more cardio or do like a interval workout, like one of those workouts that um, my mom sends to me with like burpees and push-ups and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and then on a game day, I'm still trying to figure that out right now because honestly, I never know how much I'm gonna be playing. But as of right now, not playing a ton. And so usually um, after the game, you know, I'll come in um, the apartment, do some extra cardio after the game. But since now I kind of know how it's going, I usually do my cardio before in the morning. Um, get it out of the way, it makes me you know, energized and ready for the day, so that's usually what I do. No lifting on game days, and it's not a lot of cardio because you never know. I don't want my body to be super tired. Next. Um, my favorite vacation spot is Nassau, Bahamas. I love it with the Atlantis Resort. My family, we went on vacation there all the time when I was little and I went with my, oh, back to best friends. I cannot believe I forgot them. Christine and Tyler, because I just thought, I can't believe I forgot them. Oh my God, if you guys are watching, I'm so sorry and I love you. Um, I thought of them because my most recent trip to the Bahamas was with them, actually. We went for five days and we had a great time. So with the dolphins, went on a boat trip to an island, and you know, we had a great time. Um, I definitely love it. I'm hoping to go there this summer with Kendall and others, maybe. Um, okay, people always ask, yeah, people are always asking me about my nails and my lashes and my hair. Okay, guys. I am a diva. I am a princess, you know, like in the best way, the most positive way possible. Like I like to look cute, you know, that's why I have my, or my, my slides. I'll talk about them later. My beauty beast slides. Like that's literally a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So I actually got my nails done today. You can't really see them. I got some sparkle on them today. You can't really see them that well. Got my nails done today, lashes, you know, I just like, I like lashes. I mean, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know how much I would like them until I actually did them. And now I'm addicted, which is awful. Um, but I love doing it. And then my hair, of course, I just like, 
I'm having long hair. I like changing colors. It's red. I want to do blonde soon. Um, it's just fun for me and to be able to switch it up and feel beautiful and pretty um, every day. So, you know, that's just something I like to do. Biggest, not the biggest, the most questions I've got was about my transfer. So we're gonna talk about it briefly. We'll talk about it briefly. Um, if you guys really wanna know like the process of transferring, what it was like, let me know. Um, but I transferred to colleges because one, I really miss my family in the stands. Like I'm so used to having them um, at every game all the time my whole life. Um, so they were never able to come to any games home or away. Well, my first year they were able to come because we were still in the ACC, but when we made that Big Ten move, like it was over. Like I never saw my family. Two, Big Ten. I just, it was, wasn't my dream. Nothing against the Big Ten. It's a great conference with amazing players and amazing teams, but growing up, like my dream was to play in Cameron, to play at UNC and Carmichael, um, to go to Miami and play there, um, BC, like all those, like those were my dream. Like those were my dreams and that's what I, was looking forward to when I decided to go to Maryland. So that was a big reason. Um, and honestly, that was it. Like, you just have to pick your happiness. And I was just wasn't happy playing there. Um, I loved, I mean, I loved playing there. I had amazing times and amazing moments while I was at Maryland. But like in my soul, I knew that I needed a change. And you know, I just made it. And sometimes that's just what you have to do um, in your life. Um, so that's just what I did. And it worked out pretty well and you know I picked Duke one ACC duh. Um, and two academics is so important to me um, in Maryland you know I was in the business school there undergrad um, you know it's kicking my butt but you know I was I was gonna get an amazing degree um, so there was no way I could downgrade um, universities on the academic side so you know the obvious choice was Duke um, and then being able to get my master's in 10 months um, after sitting out my year, you know, getting my extra year, that it was a no-brainer. Um, so, you know, picking Duke, you know, it has everything, every situation has its positives and negatives, but, you know, I have nothing. Um, I mean, my positives outweigh the negatives like this. So it's like, you know, sometimes you just have to do what you got to do and, you know, pray on it. And, you know, hope it turns out for the best. And in, in my case, you know, it was an amazing decision. Um, it led me here, uh, living my dream. Um, so yeah, that is why I transferred. <sighs> um, sorry. The lighting has now gone away and, oh, this is okay though. All right, moving on. Um, you have a boyfriend. <laughs> I've not had a boyfriend in five years. Yeah. Five years I've not had a boyfriend, which is fine, you know. Just living life, meeting people, you know, I just haven't found that person. I just haven't found that person. I have so much stuff I want to do and accomplish. I want to travel the world and I want to I don't know. Boyfriend, you know, it would be nice to have one, but I'm not really tripping about it, you feel me? All right, moving on from that. Um, I love shoes and I love shopping, preferably online, but I just don't like the mall. It's too much walking. Um, there's too many people. Um, <laughs> There's just too many people like I like being in the comfort of my bed by myself shopping online and that's why I do it But that's how you can get in trouble because you just put things in your cart 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 and you go to check out and you're like uh, Let me put some of them things back. Let me put some of the things back I'm the biggest homebody on earth like I will pick staying on the couch or in my bed watching movies and eating than going out into the club and socializing. And you know, I like being social, but like I have to be in a certain mood to go out, out. I've had some really fun nights out, so you know, I'm not completely against it, but you know, I really personally hate the club. I don't like it, it's dark, it's expensive. My feet hurt when I'm in there. 
everyone's too close. Did I say it was hot? Because if I did it, it is, but if I already did, that means I just don't like being hot. I love day parties. It's daytime. People are nicer in the daytime. You can see what people look like for real because it's light outside. Um, we'll go to a day party anytime, but do not expect me to go out later that night because uh, it's too much, too much excitement for one day. Um, but yeah, going out is overrated sometimes unless you're with the right group of people. Last thing, my slides. I have five Felicia slides on the website. I have the Beauty Beast and the Hoop Over Hype and the Bye Felicia's in different colors. Um, and then I'm trying to get some slides with sparkles on them, like um, sparkle font, because you know I love sparkles and I think you guys would like them too. Um, and yeah, so a couple more pairs will be online very, very soon. But until then, iSlide.com. Go buy some of these, and if not, you can make your own. It's so easy, so fast, they get to you super quick. iSlide is awesome. Um, you know, they're an amazing company. I'm so happy to be working with them. But, you know, if you don't like my slides, go make your own. You can literally put whatever you want on them. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's it. I hope that, uh, I'm all over the place. This video has been too long. <laughs> all right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, learning a little bit about me. I'm gonna start doing more videos like this, hopefully every week so send in you know topics you want me to talk about things you want to see on the video i literally do anything i'm down for whatever um like i said before do not forget to subscribe like comment share love you guys until next time